Hi, today I'm going to show you four examples on how to round any number to the nearest hundred. So before we do this, think about exactly what you're doing here. If you round into the nearest hundred, you're writing the number to the closest number in the hundred times table. So this will either be 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900 or a thousand. So let's have a look at example one then. So we've got around 427 to the nearest 100. So to begin with, just label up your columns. So we have 7 units, 2 tens and 4 hundreds. So the column that we're interested in is the hundreds column. So at the moment we have 400. So we have basically got two answers to think about here. If we round the number down, right, we'll leave it as 400. If we round the number up to the next 100, that will be 500. So to decide which number it's closest to, all you need to do is look at the number in the tens column. Right? So at the moment we have two tens. Alright? Since this number is less than 5, we're going to round the number down to 400. Alright? If this number was 5 or above, then we round it up to 500. Okay, so since it's a 2, we're going to round it down to 400. So let's move on to example 2. So this time we've got 356. So again, if you label up your columns, so the one that we're interested in is the hundreds column. So at the moment we have 300. So there's two possible answers here. If you round it down, it'll stay as 300. If you round it up, the answer will be 400. So to decide which one it's closest to, look at the number in the tens column, which is a 5. So since this number is 5 or above, you're going to round the number up. So it's going to be closer to 400. So let's have a look at a couple of harder examples then. Okay, so this time we've got 2728. So again, if we label up our columns, so we have eight units, two tens, seven hundreds, and two thousands. Okay. So we can actually ignore this time the thousands column and just focus on the last three digits all right so the one that we're looking at mainly is the hundreds column again because we're doing these hundreds so at the moment we have 700 so if you round it down it'll be 700 if you're going to round it up it'll be closer to 800 so look at the tens column to decide so in the tens column you have a 2 so since this number is less than 5 that means the number is closer to 700. And just remember to write in the thousands column. So the final answer is 2700. So let's have a look at example 4, our final example. So this time we have 42,679. So again, if we label up our columns, we have 9 units, 7 tens, 6 hundreds, 2 thousands, and we have 4 tens of thousands. So again, we're just looking at the last 3 numbers because we round off to the nearest 100, so we can cover up the first 2 columns. So we've got 679. So if we look at our hundreds column, we have 600 at the moment. So if we round it down, the answer will be 600. If we round it up, that will be 700, the answer. So if we look at the next column to decide which one it's going to be. So in the tens column, we have 7. So if that number is 5 or above, we round it up. If it's less than 5, we round it down. So since it's 7, it is above 5. So we're going to round it up to 700. Again, remember to copy in the first two columns. 
So we get the final answer, 42,700. Thanks for watching.